When you open an at home COVID-19 test kit, there are several components inside that box. A KSAT viewer brought it to our attention that there are different expiration dates on each piece. He wanted to know which expiration date to use. So Courtney Friedman checked multiple tests and ran it through the KSAT trust index. Well, almost everyone has had to use one of these COVID-19 home test kits. If you haven't, you're very lucky. Maybe you should buy a lottery ticket. But if you know, you open them up and there are three separate components. The swab, the solution, and the test strip. The eye health box has an expiration date on the back. If you look closely, so do the swabs and solution, and all three are different. We also checked a Binax Now test, another brand sent out by the government. This box has an expiration date of April 26, 2023. The swab is January 1, 2027. Dr. Fred Campbell with UT Health San Antonio Internal Medicine says this can understandably cause confusion. The expiration date on the outside of the box is generally considered to be uh, the most important expiration date you can use and the one that, that you should use over all others. The expiration date on the box directly correlates with the test strip, arguably the most important part of the kit. And you can tell because there is no expiration date on the packaging or the strip itself. The proof even more clear in the Binax tests where there is a date on the strip package and it's the exact same as the one on the box. And it could very well be that they are perfectly reliable up to those dates. But it would be a, I think, a sad thing if you in, experienced a either a false positive or a false negative because one of the components was not working properly. So experts agree the best expiration date to use is the one on the box itself. That's a true on the case at Trust Index. Dr. Campbell also says the tests won't work at all if they're in extremely cold or hot temperatures. So make sure you know when you're getting yours delivered this summer so you can get them out of the heat. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.